The search for any kind of evidence and information is now underway by York Regional Police today after a brazen sexual assault of a teenage girl took place here on Tim Jones Trail yesterday morning. It took place just before noon. It was reported that she was approached, assaulted, uh, sexually assaulted by a male suspect, possibly armed with a firearm. Police today have been out in teams combing through all of these bushes and these trees, including the York Police K-9 unit, and here's what they were looking for. Our investigators are searching for any evidence uh, that the suspect may have left uh, either before the assault or after the assault, as well as they're talking to people that are in the area that are using that trail system. They might have been there yesterday. They might have seen the suspect. Uh, we want to hear from them. The trail where the assault happened and the investigation is taking place is just steps from the Aurora Town Hall, along with other businesses and a nearby sports complex. It's an area where people will frequently walk, run, or cycle throughout the day. These young women were shaken when told about what happened in an email at work. It's scary. Like, you know, you think you're safe and everything. I did hear that uh, the guy might have had a gun. That's scary. Um, but, you know, I think we just have to make sure. It's sad you have to take the precautions, but walk with people. So I'm not going to go without a work partner to come for a walk anymore just because it's not, I don't feel safe anymore being out here alone. So it's mostly male predominant workers who are out here, so it doesn't make me feel too safe, but you just never know who to trust. So. Police believe the suspect was carrying a weapon and say he fled on foot. Investigators have canvassed the area for any video surveillance footage from nearby businesses. He is believed to be in his 20s with a light brown skin tone, wearing a black hoodie, black pants, and a red baseball hat. The victim, meanwhile, is still recovering from what police say are minor physical injuries and is receiving care as best possible for the emotional trauma as well. Mark McAllister, City News.